Hi Sagittarius, hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus Signs. Welcome to another Sagittarius Tarot reading. Sagittarius love tarot reading. Sagittarius love reading. And as is pretty much always the case here at the Tarot Closet, Sagittarius channeled messages from your person, messages from their higher self, their feelings for you, your feelings for them, what's going on, and what's going on in everybody's mind. Is anyone making a move? What's happening in the connection? Let's take a look at the energy that is coming in. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Pentacles. So something is about to change here, Sagittarius. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius energy. Jupiter energy, of course, the planet of prosperity and expansion. And although you're not, I would say, technically in this energy, you are in the sense that Jupiter is your ruling planet, Sagittarius. Something is about to change here. Somebody is getting out of the hermit energy, getting some clarity about what they want, coming to spin this Wheel of Fortune and communicate. The Wheel of Fortune is connected to the throat chakra I speak. Fate and destiny. Is there a new beginning here? Because there's definitely a new cycle. And it's coming here with the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo and Mercury energy. One pentacle shy of the Ten of Pentacles. Sag, commitment energy, things coming to fruition. Were you in a long-term partnership with this person? Were you building it? Was it on the table? Are they finally getting some clarity? It sure feels that way. Commitment issues, yeah. What are they, why? Let's continue on. Sagittarius, all your zodiac greetings are linked on the channel under the playlist as well as down below in the description. Of course, you will find all zodiac signs there. Also, all signs, tarot readings. These are love readings for the collective, collective love readings. And if you're on a twin flame journey, there are very long, very in depth twin flame readings in the playlist, so both on the channel and below. So feel free to check them out. If you're inspired to do so, remember this is a general tarot reading. Always take what resonates and let the rest go. This is a timeless reading. You're here when you're meant to be here. So welcome again. Let's take a look at the energy. It's the Two of Wands and yeah, the Ace of the Ace of Cups here. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. Somebody, this somebody here, this person that's coming through has a whole lot of feelings for you. I think there's an offer coming in here. The Two of Wands, Mars and Aries energy. You've been waiting. I do feel this is in reverse. There's been some issues around it, and that's not surprising. Mars is a completion energy. You know, how we do things. Obviously, we're not out of the cycle, I don't think, of no contact, no communication and or in separation. But this person has, yeah, the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups on their mind. Cancer energy, by the way. And of course, the emotional energy. And coming in with that Wheel of Fortune. Four of Swords in reverse. Okay, they're getting anxious. Jupiter and Libra energy. So this was kind of dropping off. Jupiter is your ruling planet, Sagittarius. It's the Three of Pentacles. Mars and Capricorn energy. Somebody wants to work this out. Four of Swords. You know, you go in there when you get out of the Three of Swords. No contact. No communication and or in separation in this reversal energy here is somebody's just getting anxious. Wheel of Fortune. Ace of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, there's, there's some movement going on here. Sagittarius, I would appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you haven't. Thank you so much. Let's continue on. Thank you, Spirit Guides, 
Angels and ancestors, please show us what Sagittarius needs to see. Aho. It's the King of Cups. Pisces energy, the High Priestess, Cancer energy, the Six of Pentacles, Moon, and Taurus. Look at this. This is somebody, yeah, who's not only coming here with an offer or commitment on their mind, but revealing their feelings to you. Somebody's been holding them back in this no contact, no communication, and or in separation energy. Has it, is it part of why we're in this energy in the first place? Because they're getting out of whatever they've been trying to clear up in their head in that hermit energy, and they're turning that wheel of fortune and communicating with you. Look at the reciprocal energy here. The Six of Pentacles here with the Three of Pentacles showing up, teamwork, working it out. Somebody who's showing up. Somebody was ready. Somebody wasn't. Somebody was available. Somebody wasn't. Divine number, divine timing, communication, it's really clear. And our King of Cups here, who has been suppressing their emotions, is definitely revealing them. In fact, this is where their energy is really extra strong here at the Tarot Closet. And we have the High Priestess, the Two of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords. My gosh. Yeah, the truth is I love you. Look at this. I still love you. I still have feelings for you. Sagittarius. Right below our King of Cups is the Two of Cups, Venus and Cancer Energy. And of course, we also saw the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles, one pentacle shy of the Ten of Pentacles. So were you in a long-term partnership building it or was it on the table? It's definitely on the table. What is on this person's mind? We have the Ace of Pentacles here with the High Priestess and the Queen of Swords. Libra ruled by Venus energy. Total honesty. Total honesty. Look at this. Cancer energy. Divine feminine energy. Making this decision not only to tell you how they feel, but this is somebody who has an offer. I want to tell you, Two of Cups, Ace of Cups, that is marriage proposal energy here. Reciprocal energy in the Six of Pentacles. Think what you've been waiting for. Getting restless, wanting to work it out. A little bit of fear in our Page of Pentacles in reverse. It's the Pentacle, of course. The commitment, the commitment, the partnership, contract, relationship. We saw that Nine of Pentacles. So here is that Tenth Pentacle. We know it's on their mind. A new cycle here. They're definitely getting restless. And I would... See, I think there might be a little bit of fear here. I'm not exactly sure if it's only because of what they want to ask and tell you and reveal to you. Or if there's something that went on that they need to apologize for. The High Priestess is connected to the Sacral Chakra I feel, as well as the Third Eye Chakra I see. The self-awareness. So they're getting the truth for themselves. They're definitely getting out of that Hermit energy. It's coming through really strong. Because you go there, you go in the hermit energy to get some clarity, personal truth, literally, to figure some things out. And you get in there when you get out of the strength card. And when you get out of there, you go into the wheel of fortune, which we saw, which is <laughs> communication with you. It's, it's getting out of no contact, Sagittarius. The truth that they're getting that they have been seeking is here, who they love what they want. Yeah, this is this is pretty clear, I'll tell you. Soulmate energy is really strong. If you're on a twin flame journey, it's here. The Empress, more divine feminine energy look right here with the High Priestess. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> the Empress, of course, is Taurus energy, also bringing in Libra. Venus, the planet of love, connected to the heart chakra. I love access to all the elements, water, air, earth, and fire. So all the resources at their fingertips here <laughs> around this person coming in in a really open-hearted energy, speaking the truth about their feelings 
And emotional availability is really strong, really strong here. Coming in with our Ace of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, the King of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Empress. This is somebody who, the Queen of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, who really wants you to know how they feel and who really wants to come back together. It's a long-term energy here. They're coming in, opening up, ready to, yeah, ready to, to be honest about their feelings. That much is really, really clear. And the Empress, of course, can create and grow anything, new beginnings, which is where we are. Look at your reading. My gosh, the Magician, Gemini and Virgo energy, Mercury energy. The Magician is connected to both the solar plexus chakra I do and the throat chakra I speak. As above, so below. Turning their visions into reality literally here. Look at this. Revealing the truth to you of how they feel. There is an offer here. It can't even be marriage for some of you. And if you are, were already there, is what I wanted to say, you could be going back into that. This is making wishes come true. It's manifesting you, getting closer to their soulmate. So validating the soulmate energy. I mean, it's already clear, but it's a strong validation. A new beginning, a lot of potential here. And like the Empress, the Magician has access to all the elements. Water, air, earth, and fire. This person is getting... Focus. This is somebody who really knows what they want. My gosh. Sagittarius, the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups, Scorpio and Pluto energy. So, Ace of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Pentacles. Knight of Cups, Two of Cups, King of Cups. The Empress, the High Priestess, the Magician. Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Six of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. I don't, I don't really know any other way to say this, but this is somebody who's coming in with a pretty major, I feel, you could say love offer. It can be that this proposal energy, look at this proposal energy. It can be that this is around marriage, long-term energy. So were you in a long-term partnership? Were you building it? Was it on the table? This is what they're coming in here with. What does that mean for you? Is it Going back to the beginning, going exclusive, taking it to another level, introducing families, moving in, marriage, what, and what comes around family, and it's not just about marriage, of course, just coming together. What that means for you is going to be different for everybody. It's clear here that for some of you that does mean littles, whether it's already something that you share together you were wanting or, yeah, the possibilities of that are really clear. Next level here, Ace of Pentacles. What they're thinking about, where they want to put their time, heart, effort, work this out. They want to be with you. It is just really clear. And again, whether you are rebuilding a life or building a life, this is somebody who loves you. Obviously, who you love there's a very strong connection here, and your reading is just, <laughs> just... The Ace of Cups is back. The Queen of Wands is here. Look at this. So, getting over some of the fear in our Ace of Pentacles, which, or excuse me, our Page of Pentacles in reverse. Like a student energy. And by the way, that is also connected to whatever happened here. So, you know, some energy around... The breakup, no contact, no communication, and or in separation. What exactly, you know, what were, or I, I guess you could say still are, the commitment issues around this person? Is it something to do possibly with age? Something they just were overwhelmed by? Because there's a lot of feelings here <laughs> for you, Sagittarius. Whatever is around that lack of confidence, some of the fear and what contributed to where you are now, is something they're definitely getting over. They're getting restless. They are getting their confidence quite literally here in our Queen of Wands. Look right in between the Six of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. 
working it out, collaborative energy. I want the same things as you. I want to be with you and I tell you if there is marriage on the table for you, it is here. I want to marry you. Maybe it's remarry. Again, I know that's not for everybody, but I know it's for a lot of you because the energy is just off the charts. And anyway, what does that mean for you? It's still a, I want to be with you contract. It doesn't have to be legal and whatever. You know, it's, I 100% choose this. I choose you. I'm ready. I want to work this out. This is how I feel. This is what I want. This is what I'm going to do. So the marriage energy and just that level of commitment is really off the charts. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups, Two of Cups, King of Cups, the Empress, the Magician, the High Priestess, the Queen of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles. And of course, coming in, we had the Nine of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Things are drastically turning around here. This is a major turning point, Sagittarius. A cycle definitely ending and a new cycle beginning here. Yeah, so look, this is where this person had been. Out of all the energy that's come in, here we are kind of in the tail end of the tarot and we're seeing the Page of Swords in reverse, some fear around telling you the truth and contacting you because it's somebody who has been at a distance, whether it's really long physical distance or just, you know, looking in, talking to other people if you're connected via social media, friends, family, whatever. This is somebody, my throat chakra is going nuts. This is somebody who has been holding on to this truth. I don't know for how long, but it is a validation with our Page of Swords and our Page of Pentacles that there's some fear around it. There's some fear around contacting you and that came through pretty early. And it's not, there's, I'm not really getting any energy here that there's something super major that they need to be honest about or other contracts per se. Perhaps there is, it's not coming through here. This is a lot about, yeah, the commitment energy, some fear around that, feelings, next, next level energy. So this is somebody who put themselves in the Eight of Swords, Jupiter and Gemini energy and Jupiter, of course, is your ruling planet, planet of prosperity and expansion, a really lucky things coming in, you know? And of course, Gemini also around communication. They put themselves here. It's like going and not talking, things not moving forward. It's minor arcana energy. It is clear that this is where they have been. Eight of Swords, Page of Swords, and Reverse Page of Pentacles. It's pretty strong for a lot of you that, yeah, this could be somebody that is younger. The Two of Wands is also back. It's not just about age, though. You know, it's the, you could say, just some of the behavior. And our Page of Pentacles, it's a pentacle. Partnerships, relationships, commitments, contracts, legal and otherwise, you know. And pentacles can be around a lot of things. Of course, money, jobs, other people, relationships, love. Here, look at our Page of Pentacles, it's two roses, and obviously this is your love reading. It doesn't mean that perhaps there is some, there isn't something involved around money. It could be. And the fact that that even just came in is telling me that that's validating for some of you. But there's definitely, yeah, it's connected to how you got here. But this is somebody who's definitely getting over with over that. Again, they know what they want. They know who they love. They know what they need to do. When the Two of Wands came in, when your reading began, Mars and Aries energy, it wasn't a reversal energy for me, which has been the energy of not things not, this person not making this decision to come, to not reveal the truth about how they feel and what they want. It's sort of like hurry up already and minor arcana energy, but still of you waiting and just the delay in that. It's coming here in the upright making this decision. There could be literal travel for some of you involved here. It can't even be, you could say, to the Four of Wands, to an actual event, if you can see this person. 
that won't be for everybody. But the energy of movement is just off the charts clear. And I want to tell you, two of wands, the matters of the heart, the speed at which they're moving, the two of wands here, the two of cups, the high priestess, a two. So a lot of this energy of this person who's getting balanced. They're definitely reassessing past actions and getting their priorities straight and taking new ones. This is just so incredibly clear. They're getting on the right path. And the path is leading to you, Sagittarius. All cards <laughs> lead to you. All roads lead to you here. This is incredibly clear. Oh, just about anything is possible. Anything is possible here. I want to bring in some Oracle now. Bottom of the deck, the Seven of Wands. Really interesting because... We can see that the wait is, is coming to an end, that it's been really delayed. You've just been waiting. It, it's coming to an end here, but we're also seeing the Seven of Wands, Mars and Leo energy, which is some self-defensive energy. It's kind of like, yeah, a little bit of a roadblock maybe for the person that's coming in. Not wanting to, not wanting to be hurt, but I gotta tell you too, I'm wondering, is there somebody else in this energy? Is there, I don't want to say competition because I don't know if that's kind of really how I want to word what I'm hearing. Just that perhaps there's maybe some kind of third party energy it, and it doesn't necessarily mean that it's love, it could be. It could even be like a friend or a family member I kind of feel like it's on the person who's coming in their side, but it could also be somebody who's kind of looking out for you. Maybe even, I don't know, jealous or worried. What is that energy? I can hear <laughs> some of you answering that, but we're here in a video. Oracle, which I'm moving. I'm not reading it in reverse. Let's see what else is coming through. But Sagittarius, this is just... Your reading is really, wow. It is 100% clear what is coming down here, what's going down. Something big's about to go down. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what else we need to see for Sagittarius. Aho. Home and gratitude. For some of you, there is a connection, actually, to a, a literal home. This is also bringing, there's a lot of energy coming in around it because it can be, of course, that there, there, was, there is energy here for some of you living together, household, that sort of energy, either past and maybe even present, but upcoming energy. I mean, it's really strong, the connection to the home. It's also bringing in this energy that if you can see this person, it's sort of like, well, even if you can't, it's a coming home energy. It's like a homecoming energy. So it is both that four of wands energy, if you can see them, city, state, country, kind of showing up at an event, maybe where you are connected by a friends and family. But it's also six of cups energy, the sun and Scorpio energy, which is a coming home to each other, like, my heart is, home is where the heart is energy. And you are my person energy. Because they're manifesting this biggest wish energy. Like they want to make this happen. They're getting really focused. And yeah, coming here on the move. Right, right in your direction. A very strong renewed spark energy. And gratitude here appreciating you seeing I don't know maybe they just you know this just this little itty bitty page in reverse energy and the swords holding on to some of that truth some fear around it also just around the commitment energy but most definitely knowing what they have what they lost 
and what they really want. It's you, Sagittarius. This is really strong. Breathe. Divine timing. Look. Messengers. Divine messengers. Also connected to the Empress here. This is just so clear. It's union. Here's the thing. I'm, I'm actually speechless <laughs> because Knight of Cups, Two of Cups, Ace of Cups is back again. The Magician, I mean, the Empress, the Home Union. The marriage energy is here. If this is something that you want to go back to or you were waiting for, Sagittarius, it's here. I also want to reiterate, and for those of you that that's not what that is, but it is a, yeah, a coming together energy. So whether that's going exclusive, introducing families, moving in, it's not, I know it's not going to be marriage for everybody, but I tell you, if that is what you're coming here with on your mind, it is here. There's no if and or buts about it, this union energy. My gosh. And you are, <laughs> you belong to us. That one just, yeah, really feels like yours. And this one as well. Earth Mother, this is more Empress energy. Abundance, look at this, healing energy. New beginnings. And connections to family, home, life, what does that mean for you? It really is different for everybody. I have to say that again because it's just not always for everybody that it's, you know, the way that, let's say, it's laid out what a family should look like. We know, we all know that that's going to be different for everybody. And this is just about the coming back together, the, the new beginning, the growth, the movement. And, and all elements, water, air, earth, and fire. So we're talking mentally, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, all of it. Clarity, wanting the same things. Perhaps for some of you, there's something around. I don't know why. There's not a lot of energy here of a moving energy so much. A little bit. It could be that there's something here around somebody who would have to move. I don't think that message is for everybody, but it came in for somebody. Look at this. The star is here too. Aquarius and Uranus energy. This is this person coming back in. Inf affinity being literally pulled toward you. You pull together here. Stars aligning. This is fate. Faded connection is just clear. Your destinies are intertwined. Healing energy, a strong healing energy. And yeah, a lot of clarity, a lot of, <laughs> that camera makes me crazy. Here is this guarded energy again. Look in the seven of wands too. Is this, it, I feel like for somebody there, may, maybe that there's, I don't know, something around an outside energy of friends or family or something. And that could also be what's going on in the page of swords in reverse, that there's something or somebody else involved that would require some really big changes to be made from somebody's side. Your side feels strong too. It could be both of you. So it's kind of like a little bit of interference. And it could be a divine feminine energy here. That is pretty strong. We have basically the empress here twice and the high priestess. But, you know, this is not about gender. There is an energy I feel like of somebody somehow is, is kind of, like not wanting somebody to make some kind of major change because it would change something for them. Or they're just looking out for somebody. The lovers is here. My gosh. Yeah, this is definitely an offer. Soulmate energy off the charts. If you're on a twin flame journey, it's here. It might mean something different for you, okay? You know, I do very in-depth twin flame readings and I would not send anybody a miss to say, here, this is a union for your twin flame. I just can't tell you that. But the energy is definitely here. This person is in love with you, 
loves you, wants to either go back into a life with you or have a life with you, build a home with you, build a life with you, rebuild, what does that mean? Gemini energy, Venus energy, and of course the lover's card and Archangel Raphael who just wants to heal what is broken are connected to the heart chakra. And Archangel Raphael specifically also to the throat chakra. So I love and I speak. This is somebody who wants to be committed to you. Who wants, who wants to be committed to you. It's just, there's no, again, <laughs> it's kind of like if and or buts about it. There's a lot of self-actualization going around this, around the energy of this person. And it was a, a it's a pretty strong wake up energy for me, like revelation energy. But it's also here in this energy, in the lover's card. I mean, look at this. The magician, the lover's card, the star card. The union card, the empress. The empress again, coming through with our earth mother energy, the high priestess. The two of cups, the king of cups. The ace of cups twice, the knight, the knight of cups. The ace of pentacles the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Union card. And the Magician is back. I just almost can't handle this. <laughs> it's almost the same scene, look. Your, your reading is leaving me speechless, Sagittarius. Your reading is leaving me speechless. So there's, this is your soulmate. This is your soulmate. If you're on a twin flame journey and you're resonating, then yeah, <laughs> this is your twin flame. Your, your twin flame can be a soulmate. This is definitely a soulmate. It's just really clear. And this person knows it. I think you know it too. It's, yeah, again, Gemini and Virgo energy, Mercury energy, as above, so below, a strong validation that they are making wishes come true and it's coming from both ends so this is definitely you both love each other it's just really clear and you both really want this there's a little bit of guarded energy still here and of course you know you <laughs> is that your energy i think it's around your energy it could also be the person here but there's some like third party energy behind it so look it says inspiration, and in our tarot today, we have the Queen of Wands, which is called the Queen of Inspiration. There are roots here, and it looks a whole lot like a rainbow. So for me, that's representing the chakras. And yeah, this is the movement, and it's the roots here, so <laughs> long-term energy. It's also connecting with the root chakra, a centered when. It's balanced and centered, which is really clear that this is somebody who is not an ego in shadow. The fear is something they are practically out of, I want to say, who does know what they want and who is making literally all the right moves, you could say, like in the sense that they are, yeah, they're, they're balancing everything here, getting into alignment, knowing what they want, knowing what they need to do and doing it. This is where things have been, look, drifting. It's the emotions. We see the King of Cups here, right next to the High Priestess they're revealing. But this is also where things have been. It's sort of like, yeah, I mean, drifting. Where is this going? Because this was somebody who I feel like was not completely emotionally available or speaking the truth and not opening up. This is kind of where things have been. It's definitely not where it is now. Yeah, look. So we have passage and rise. There is the boat. Look, here's the boat. It's moved. It's not drifting anymore. Now it's right here on its way in, in a new direction, a new, a new direction, a passage, like a new, a new path. And it's somebody who's really getting into, I'm telling you, that's getting into balance here, reassessing everything, getting their priorities straight. There's a strong energy shift and realignment here. It's incredibly strong. This boat is not drifting anymore. There is a huge rainbow in this boat now of hope, connected to the stars, stars aligning, fate. 
and destiny, the pool, toward each other. Who entered, entered the stratosphere here, <laughs> Sagittarius? Because they're here. This boat is sitting here on the divine energy, divine timing, the emotional energy, the love. Hoping here, just kind of waiting, look. And as we were talking about any of that shadow, ego, and fear energy, this is definitely a rise above that. It's a rise above conflicting energy. Somebody's standing here. It looks like it, it might be the world, or at least it's the top of a hill. The sun behind them coming up, that sun energy, a new cycle. Leo energy. The messengers here too, it's a really strong energy and it's connecting really strongly to the divine energy around timing. Rising above conflicting energy, rising above if there is a third party energy that's been here. And it's not, like I said, in terms of the cards, and it doesn't matter for me really anyway, <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not seeing it and I'm not feeling a super strong connection to I, although I have to say the Hierophant is coming through for me. I do think that there's some kind of third party, but it's also, I mean, it's not irrelevant, but somehow it, that's also being overcome. Do you know what I mean? And by that, it's what I'm saying is that there's somebody that's either been around somebody or is just even in their head. Because this is just rising above all of that for the both of you. And... Yeah, oh gosh, this is just really, I, I, it's hard to articulate what I want to say here <laughs> because it's, it's rendering me speechless. And I'm not speechless, as you can tell. <laughs> but if you watch my readings regularly, or maybe you're new here, I'll tell you that I'm, I'm pretty much not a speechless person. Even when a reading renders me speechless. This has, it's like, wow. I wanted to say breathless. And... As I look over here, I breathe, look, rise, breathe, rising above conflicting energy, messages from the divine. That's connecting us to the crown chakra, higher power, protecting this connection, getting you back together, pulling you together. It is so strong. The star connected here with the empress, with the two of you and the two of cups, and here's the union. You belong together energy. The Tarot Closet channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. And please excuse me, my throat chakra is going nuts. And I'm just going to try to get through it without feeling like I'm gasping for air. Because that is literally what's been going on here <laughs> throughout your entire reading. What do you want to say to your Sagittarius? I want to be the reason for your sweetest dream, Sagittarius. Where, where do I even begin to put this? Near the star? I knew the moment we met. I was yours and you were mine. The lovers. The wheel of fortune coming in. Fate and destiny. Deep soulmate connection. Some of you have known this person your whole life. And if you haven't, it definitely feels that way. It's that energy of just... Home is with you. You know, you're my person. I just, you understand each other. I'll make things right. That felt emotional when that came down and I got some chills in my arm. I want to return, but I'm a big chicken. Not anymore. So look, in the court of love, I stand guilty as charged, but I don't want bail. I want imprisonment in your heart. So there's something here. It does connect with justice. And we do have the protege for justice, the queen of, of swords, for me, <laughs> the protege. So there is something here that I feel like I'm not completely privy to. So something that went on, it could be really big. We could be looking at some type of legal issues or something even around other people, you know, money, legal issues, whatever. But it's also just somebody who knows they messed up. And they want to do more than make things right here. Look at this. Here's the message that I've, <laughs> that's I've that been coming through for you throughout the entire reading. We just talked about it. I feel so at home with you. Right here with home. 
King of Cups, the High Priestess revealing that, the Two of Cups, the Star Union, the Empress, the Lovers, the Magician twice, the Ace of Cups having come back twice, the Knight of Cups. My gosh, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. My biggest mistake was to think that I'll be okay without you. I'm not. I never will be. I am wising up. Yeah. So it's both the hangman energy, Pisces energy, getting out of their indecisive energy, definitely working some things out, getting perspective. When you get out of the hangman energy, you go into the death card and you make some major changes. And these are major changes. Because how this person is coming in, I don't know. Is this how they were before? Because this just feels like, I don't know, dream come true energy. And it's also connecting us with judgment. Connected to the crown chakra, I know. I know who I love. I know what I want. I know what I need to do. And judgment, of course, is Archangel Gabriel. Connected to the sacral chakra, I feel. And the third eye chakra I see, the self-awareness, which is also, of course, the high priestess energy here. I wasn't even looking when I found you. Here with the two of cups and the star pulled together, it was fate. You were meant to meet. It was, you were meant to meet. It was destiny. You were destined to meet. My heart and soul scream out for you. The Tarot Closet Channeled Love Messages. Messages from their higher self. Messages from your person. I care too much what people think. I think it might be around your person then. It could just even be in their head. If it's you as well, I mean, it, it's really validating that energy that's coming in. And that third-party energy that I feel, I mean, it really could be a lot of things. I do feel a strong connection to somebody who's just, I don't know, meddling's maybe not the right word, just kind of looking out for somebody. But, you know, it could also be connected to location or money or something. I'm sending you telepathic messages. Yeah, it's going right here with the telepathic energy, the Two of Cups, the Star. I made so many mistakes. And my biggest mistake was to think that I'll be okay without you. I'm not, I never will be. I received your telepathic messages. Yeah, I mean, that's just par for the course here with the Two of Cups and the Star. Please wait for me. Right here, connecting with the lovers in union, which is also here in the lovers. I am afraid to contact you. So there, there is a little bit of fear here. They're definitely rising above the fear. Look at that. <laughs> it's connecting here with the Rise card and the Queen of Swords and the next level. So there is a little bit of fear around this. If this is somebody it's around moving in marriage, what really, whatever it is, you know, there's, it's, it, there is this, yeah, feeling of, like, this is what I want, this is what I want to do. Excitement somehow, too. But there is a little bit of fear. And that could also just simply be around, yeah, this is scary. This is what I want. I'm a, You know, when you take that leap, it's somebody who's taking the leap. I feel your energy. Two of Cups, the Star, the Lovers. I'm waiting for the right time. Divine timing is a really strong energy here today. Really strong. The tarot cause of channel love messages. Messages from their higher self. Love notes. I think of you every day. I miss you. Actually, I want to put this here. I need time to heal. There's a lot of healing energy here. I want to put this here because I do still feel a little bit of that sort of, you know, wait a minute here. 
not wanting to be hurt energy. I love you. That's really just so clear. Are you thinking of me too? I think of you every day. Are you thinking of me too? We have a deep soul connection. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's just one of those readings, Sagittarius, breathless, chills and goosebumps. Wow. I love you too, Infinity, Sagittarius. It's a James Young song. I love you too, Infinity. There's our Infinity here, kind of everywhere. Here with our magician who has come down twice. That is Twin Flame energy as well. It's also just an energy of forever kind of love, life force energy, balance, you know, truth, balance, renewal. And the magician here, it's, it's also the two of them. It's like both of you having access to all those elements to come together and really work things out, like alchemize everything, what happened in the past, what's going on now, and setting things up for the future. Everybody's on the same page here. It's just one of these readings. We are one. Togetherness. Coming together. Union. Decisions, too. I mean, that's a lot of times that is connected to the lover's card, and it doesn't always come through. It is here for sure. The strength of two. Thinking of you brings me peace. I think of you every day. Do you think of me too? Your last channeled love message. Message from their higher self satch. Yeah. So this is how they're ending the reading. And this has been really strong. How they see you. You are my soulmate. Sagittarius. Yeah. <laughs> Again, I'm not really speechless. But almost. Speechless. Breathless. It's really been... Yeah, an amazing reading, and it's been my honor to channel for you. Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate you so much. I'm sending you all kinds of love and light, hoping for the best outcome for you. Please don't forget to like today's video and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you, Sagittarius. I look forward to seeing you at another love reading soon. Until then, bye.